Hello and welcome back to the East Side Edition, Kennedy's very own news crew. We'll be covering Kennedy, local, national, and global news in the span of about five minutes. To start out with, the Kennedy Career Center is having some virtual spotlight speakers in the next week. On Wednesday, January 13th at 1230, a Minnesota state trooper is going to talk to anyone who's interested. Additionally, on the same date, Vermilion College will have a virtual meeting with anyone who's interested at 1.30. The University of Minnesota Bioproducts and Biosystems Engineering Department will also be hosting a panel on the same date at 1.30. Again, all three of these events are on January 13th, next Wednesday. In addition, K Kennedy High School is partnering with the Genesis Works, a program that provides paid internships in technology at major corporations in the Twin Cities, like Target, General Mills, and Medtronic. If you are interested in collaborating with Genesis Works, more information is available by attending an information session on January 13th from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. If you are interested in any of the aforementioned events, please contact Kristen Donnelly at the email shown on screen. In other Kennedy news, off-season workouts for student-athletes start Monday, January 11th. They run Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. To participate, you must be registered, but there is no cost for students. The times are as follows. Female session, 2 to 3.15 p.m. All athlete session, 3 to 4.15 p.m. Football session, 4.30 to 5.45 p.m. In addition, here are the upcoming athletic events for the week. On Thursday, January 14th, there is an Alpine Ski Meet, boys and girls teams, varsity and junior varsity, with Jefferson at the Highland Hills Ski Area against Cheska and Chanhassen at 3 p.m. There's also a swimming and diving competition for the boys varsity team at 6 p.m. against St. Louis Park at their high school. A boys' varsity basketball game will be held at Kennedy against Binald St. Margaret's at 7 p.m. A girls' varsity hockey game with Jefferson against Binald St. Margaret's will be held at the Bloomington Ice Garden at 7.15 p.m. On Friday, January 15th, there will be a wrestling tournament at the New Prague High School at 5 p.m. On Saturday, January 16th, there will be a girls' varsity basketball game at 1 p.m. against Chaska at their high school. There will also be a boys' varsity hockey game at 3.15 p.m., at the Bloomington Ice Garden against Chanhassen, and a girls varsity hockey game at four against Chaska at the Chaska Community Center. That should wrap up the Kennedy Sports News. If you have any questions, please contact either John Anderson or your respective coaches for each team. Finally, the movie club has started having meetings every other Wednesday. This past week, they watched The Perks of Being a Wallflower. In two weeks, they will watch two episodes of Criminal Minds. If you are interested in joining movie club, please contact Audrey Crippen or Kelly Olson at the email shown on screen. In local news, we are scheduled to get some snow in the upcoming week. Stay warm and good luck shoveling. In national news, the special runoff elections in Georgia have been called. John Ossoff, Democrat, defeated David Perdue, Republican, and Raphael Warnock, Democrat, beat De Kelly Loeffler, Republican, granting Democrats control of the Senate with Vice President-elect Kamala Harris's deciding vote. Supporters of President Trump objected and, following a rally in Washington, D.C., stormed the Capitol building, forcing an immediate recess and evacuation of both the House and the Senate. At least four people were killed, one from gunshot wounds and three from unspecified medical conditions, and much of the Capitol was vandalized. Vice President Mike Pence called in the National Guard, who removed the trespassers from the premises and removed at least one incendiary explosive device. Following several tweets from President Trump, Twitter and Facebook have locked his accounts on their platforms. Statements were made of both parties condemning the violence of January 6th, ones that were echoed on the international stage from other countries as well. In global news, the coronavirus continues to run rampant, but vaccines are being handed out with high success levels. That's our show! If you're a Kennedy student who would like to help us, please contact either Marcus Jensen or Joshua Koval at the email on screen. Stay safe and have a great week!